Hey, I'm George Zidane, I'm the author of Ingredients, and you know that public pool smell? Well, it's not chlorine, and you're not gonna like what it actually is. I'm gonna tell you about a couple of experiments I did to figure out what that public pool smell is. The first one, you can do at home. Just pour yourself a glass of tap water. Now, that water probably has chlorine in it to kill microbes. But does it smell like a public pool? No, it does not, so maybe it's not chlorine. The second experiment is a bit more complicated. I went out to the store, I got some chlorine-based pool disinfectant called calcium hypochlorite. I put a tiny bit of it into a cup, added some water, took a sniff, and nothing. It smelled like nothing. So, okay, maybe not chlorine. But I thought, you know, maybe if I leave the cup overnight, that reaction will take some time to get going. Let's see what happens. So I did, came back the next day. Still nothing, no public pool smell. Then I put a very small amount of my own pee in the cup, less than a drop. I covered it with some plastic wrap. I waited and covered it. I stuck my nose in there and yeah, that was classic public pool smell. It turns out that some of the nitrogen containing chemicals in your pee can react with the calcium hypochlorite to produce chemicals called chloramines. And those chloramines are what smell like a public pool. Now, I am not the first person to do this experiment. Mark Rober did it in a great video a few years back. So it's confirmed that if you mix pee and chlorine, you'll definitely get the smell of a public pool. But this is the important question. Does the logic work backwards? So when you smell that smell, does it mean there's definitely some chef's pee in the pool? That's what I wanted to find out. So I repeated the experiment, but this time with other stuff that I thought might also react with the calcium hypochlorite to produce chloramines. First, I tried sunscreen, because it's the summer, you're wearing sunscreen, you go in the pool, maybe that does it, but no dice. Then I tried snot, because yeah, I've definitely blown my nose in a pool, sorry. Uh, and that actually did kind of produce a little bit of the public pool smell. Then I tried spit, because, I mean, you've seen people spit in pools, and yeah, that really did it. I mean, that was classic indoor, steamy gym public pool. Apparently sweat can also produce that same smell, though I didn't actually test it myself. What is most likely causing that smell here? Is it sweat? Is it spit? Is it pee? I don't know. I mean, I think people definitely sweat into public pools. People definitely spit in public pools. People snot in public pools too. As for pee, Lindsay Blackstock published a paper back in 2017 in which she and her colleagues tested 30 pools in Canada, uh, 30 pools and hot tubs in Canada, and found evidence of pee in all of them, every single one. Now, before you get too grossed out, pee is mostly water. It's not like you drink gallons of pool water anyway, so my feeling is, who cares what's a little pee between friends? With that information, I invite you to have a great summer.